This is the man the opinion polls say is the front runner in the race to be the next French president. Three months before the election, the socialist François Hollande has rallied his supporters at his most high profile appearance so far. He outlined several things he'd do in office, declaring that his real enemy was finance. He backed a financial transactions tax and a public credit ratings agency. I would stop politicians from holding several posts at the same time. I'm for partial proportional representation in the National Assembly, parity between men and women in the exercise of responsibility, and the right to vote for foreigners at local elections. Without fearing anything for our citizenship, for the cohesion of the country, in putting aside fears, timidity and conservatism. One poll this weekend gives Hollande a seven-point lead in the election first round and suggests he comfortably beats Nicolas Sarkozy in a runoff. The president, who's been on a visit to French Guyana, has yet to declare officially that he'll run. In the weeks to come, he's likely to target Hollande's lack of government experience. But both face several other potential rivals. Centrist François Bayrou, who scored 18% in the election first round five years ago, shows signs of posing a dangerous threat again. All will have to contend with National Front leader Marine Le Pen, looking to repeat her father's success ten years ago when he reached the presidential runoff.